Today, we're gonna give some singles some love. Dr. Love is in the house. <laughs> the world tells singles, go out and party, have a good time, date a lot of different people, find out what you like, what you don't like, have sex with multiple partners, figure out if you're sexually compatible, and when you're sexually compatible, then you can take it to another level. Watch every romantic comedy. Within the first five minutes, they meet each other, they go to bed, and then they figure out the relationship after that. I will solve the sexual compatibility for you in five seconds or less. Ready? Are you a man? Is she a woman? You're sexually compatible. <laughs> five seconds from my fifth grade education is just absolutely ridiculous. Take it from somebody who's been married 14 years in 16 days. Your singleness is not a chance to partay and get busy with a bunch of different people. God says your singleness is sacred. Use this time in your life to build yourself up in your faith, to grow in Christ, to develop good spiritual disciplines, good work habits, good friendships that will last. Start building yourself up because you have an opportunity right now in singleness that you will not have in marriage. And hear me, you do not have to be married to make a huge difference in the kingdom of God. This whole faith was started by a single man. Jesus never got married. He made the biggest difference in world history. History revolves around him, A.D. and B.C. The most important decision of your life is who is going to be your God. And the second biggest decision is who's going to be your spouse. Maybe for some of you, the decision is no spouse. Jesus said, in Matthew 19 that singleness is actually a gift from God. Given them the gift to be single. Now you are inundated with all these messages about why you should get married, to be happy, to be fulfilled, and that's a problem. It's a lie. We are inundated in a generation today with airbrushed images of fake people. Go through the grocery store checkout line and you will know what I'm talking about. Nobody looks like that, friend. Actually, like three people on the planet look like that. Let me just tell you singles, all three of those people are out of your league. I, I want that girl with the hot body. I want that guy with the muscles and the good looks and the hair and all that stuff. It's just superficial nonsense. The Bible says in Proverbs 31, 30, charm is deceptive and beauty, say the next three words, does not last. <laughs> I don't care how beautiful they are right now, it will not last. Let me, let me just tell you, in the law of physics, gravity always wins. <laughs> and some of you dudes, you got beautiful girlfriends and you're dragging your feet. I don't know, I don't know if I should do it. You know, is she the one, is she the one? I haven't seen the angel show up and tell me she's the one. I haven't found the Bible verse to tell me she's the one. I need a word from the Lord that she's the one so I know I'm not making a mistake. All you're looking for is somebody else to blame if it doesn't work out. You only have so many years. Like you get married in your mid-30s, you wait five more years because you want to have fun and go on cruises and vacations, and then you're going to start to have kids in your 40s? Are you crazy? Do you want to be walking that little girl down the aisle with your walking stick? <laughs> Some of you are waiting for super spiritual, super hunk. Stop. Some of you are waiting for super spiritual, super model. Stop. Find somebody who's reasonably attractive and loves Jesus and goes to church and marry the sucker. <laughs>